Hi, I'm Andy DeGrucci, and we're here in Middletown, Pennsylvania, uh, because Robin Pellegrini, who's the owner of uh, Alfred's Victorian Restaurant, had called me wanting to restore her 1890s uh, Hummelstown Brownstone Victorian building. Uh, she is a, a preservationist herself, and uh, grassroots effort just decided to, like my own business, pull herself up from the bootstraps and started uh, from uh, just working hard. She uh, has developed this business with her husband, her late husband, and uh, she uh, has decided to infuse uh, energy into the community by uh, showing that preservation matters. As a little kid, I remember this building. We talked about it looking like uh, something out of the Adams family when we were kids and would walk down from Water Street to the Elks Theater with our little quarters in hand <laughs> to get into the movie and buy popcorn. Um, we would dare each other to walk on the wall out front because we were convinced it was haunted. And, and it just looked scary because there were never any lights on. I came back about a year ago to take over. My husband passed away two years ago and the people that were running it were his children and they really just didn't want to be here anymore. You know, it was their father's dream, not his. So um, they moved on to other things that they wanted to do and I didn't want to see this dismantled. They had tried to find a buyer and I was heartbroken to think that this thing would be stripped down for salvage and you would drive by and see a blight with you know, boarded up windows and, and who's going to take it. It would have been a knockdown because nobody was ever going to try to restore it again if that happened. I just think when you own a building like this, there's, um, there's a responsibility and I don't know that you ever own a building like this. I think you just get to be the caretaker for a period of time. So she wanted to practice true sustainability and uh, have a wholesome environment uh, here for her patrons to eat in, in, in a building that was authentically restored to uh, its grandeur. So anyway, we came in here and uh, we uh, assessed what types of repairs would need to be done. And those repairs, of course, were going to uh, have to reverse previous inappropriately done intervention that had been done over the last hundred years and then also to uh, take the natural condition of the Hummelstown brownstone and refurbish it, reconstitute, strengthen what remains, with consolidating what remains and to repair the stone and the mortar joints. However, we didn't want to uh, r remove too much of historic fabric so in some cases uh, we actually saved the original details that we had to then incorporate our repairs up to and against so that our repairs reflected uh, the original work. So when we came on board we began to educate Robin and explain to her that the types of uh, materials that were used originally, the lime mortars, they were breathable and they were not uh, consisting of modern uh, cement binders that would not only not breathe but could cause accelerated decay to the soft and uh, uh, pervious brownstone. And so we explained to her that um, you know you need to repair in kind and like to like so that you can get a hundred year service life like the original materials uh, offered. So we ex educated her and explained this and then uh, she, understanding uh, what our approach was, trusted our judgment and allowed us to use the specially imported materials that we uh, work with. It was really the right material to use, but it happens that lime mortars are environmentally friendly, having such a lower embodied energy requirement to produce it over Portland cements. I feel like it's my responsibility to do this and to do it properly and safely.